Right, this light has been queenless for quite some time. This was derived from H2G and it looks like it's been marauded because when I got in there, there was a small queen in there and she would have come from the ferals because she had the feral colouring. Uh, these ones from these hives, they all tend to turn out with a, uh, their queens and the queen cells they make, tend to turn out with a, uh, a tan uh, abdomen on the, on the queen and they're much larger. The ones that are ferals tend to have, uh, they're, they're a bit more disturbed easily too. They started to tear down the wax on their, uh, Oh, this is looking fantastic for understanding something. You see that? That was full of honey and pollen the other day. And uh, it's now empty. It's actually quite heavy to carry. So I've got a little problem with this in trying to uh, construct this nucleus from H2G, which are the carniolas. The other is the carniola cross ferals in H1. That's uh, H1 derived one, the other hive I was looking at, uh, the other nucleus. It's all right, but it's got a very large queen in it. Like I say, it's very weird. They've started to pull down all of the uh, yeah, just where is it? They started to pull down all of the wax. They're tearing it all out. They've still got brood that they're looking after in there. Um, so that's very annoying. But the best I can do is hope for finding a, uh, a queen. Queen cell that's hatched that should have been there. That's what's very, very annoying. Beetles, yeah. Very small beetles, but they're not hive beetles, they're just beetles. Get into here. No evidence of the very small queen being here today. Moving them apart just to see if they uh, looking for something with a very tall, black, shiny head on it. Very small one. Uh, I think she may have even moved out, or she, she may have got a bit of a shot. It appeared to hatch something like a queen cell, uh, but that's the second time H2's gone wrong, which is very annoying. And I think they're putting this frame back in to H2 so they can uh, save all of these, um, save all of the larvae. Because they're just a pest to themselves on how much really has gone, it seems to have gone wrong. So it might be time to take a look in H1G and H2G. see if they've got any queen cells in, whether I can put a queen cell in with them. But they've emptied this out and taken it somewhere else, and so I'm going to have to have a look around for any bees um, around the district that may have suddenly turned up. But, you know, I don't know about going and getting them back, actually, because they're quite nice. They're very nice bees, really. Uh, these are the mainly pure carniola. It doesn't matter. They're not going to hurt it. But I hope she survives. I, 
I think I'll have to put that back into H, uh, H2 then. It's no good out here.